I'd just like now to introduce the Right Honourable Andy Burnham, the Secretary of State for Culture, Media and Sport. Remembering any loss of life on this scale is painful. It is even harder when a tragedy was no natural disaster, but entirely man-made, when it involves so many young people, and when those who lost most have suffered so many more dark days ever since. Hillsborough left deep wounds that will never heal. Its horror is not diminished by the passage of time. The TV images still harrowing to watch. But today, as the Prime Minister has asked me to convey, we can at least pledge that 96 fellow football supporters who died will never be forgotten. And he asks us to think at this time. And the Prime Minister asks us to think at this time about their families with these words. Families who every day for the last 20 years have shown such dignity and resolve in coping with their loss. They have shown remarkable courage in working together and with the wider community to rebuild their lives. They have fought for justice and to honour the memory of their loved ones. Today, I wish to pay particular tribute to the managers, players and officials of Liverpool Football Club, past and present. <laughs> past and present, who down the years have shown steadfast support for those families. It is also a day to honour the supporters of this great club, those who helped the dying on that day, and the many thousands more those who helped the dying on that day and the many thousands more ever since who have so respectfully kept their memory alive. By their actions, they challenged perceptions of football supporters and finally ushered in the end of an era when the treatment of supporters was poor and their safety an afterthought. Hillsborough's permanent legacy is that young and old will forever be safer at matches, but we grieve that it took a tragedy on this scale to bring that about. Today, I represent the Prime Minister and the Government. 20 years ago...
20 years ago, I was at the other, I was at the other semi-final and remember vividly today, as if it was yesterday, how our delight turned to silence and then despair as the news filtered through. In the weeks after, I felt pride that so many Everton scarves and banners took their place in the sea of tributes that filled this ground. And then at Wembley, 100,000 people unified in a simple statement of defiance, Merseyside. It spoke to the country. <clears throat> it spoke to the country and the world of something, something precious, a sense of community and a spirit of solidarity that could never be broken, no matter how great the adversity. An enduring memory which comforts us still, and with the other changes that came, means that those who died will forever leave their mark on this city and this country. Uh, thanks, Andy. Uh, 